Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close up look and test the Invicta watch box. So in this card sleeve is an Invicta watch box. Let's go ahead and slide the card sleeve packaging off to reveal the Invicta watch box. And this one is for a single wristwatch. And as you can see, it is in black. So let's give you a clear full view of the watch box. So I'm just going to set the card sleeve packaging on the left hand side of the table and giving you that full clear view of this Invicta watch box in black for a single wrist watch. So giving you a full clear view of this watch box before I start handling it and giving you some close-up details and now taking a look at this Invicta watch box also branded as Invicta gift packaging so giving you a full view around this sturdy plastic watch box and taking a look at the bottom or underside of the box, you can see there is a molded Invicta branding at the base. And turning the box right around, showing you the latches and hinges of this watch box. And of course, a top-down view as well with the Invicta branding which is printed on the top of the lid. And in terms of size, just giving you some idea of the size of this watch box resting my hand on top of it. And as well, resting the box in my palm to give you some sense of scale. And in terms of the measurements or dimensions of this watch box, it measures 18 centimeters across or long, 14 centimeters wide, and 12 centimeters high or tall. So you can see this black watch box does have gray latches, so one on each side to secure the box and keep the lid nice and firmly closed. And just to give you some idea of the strength or hardness of the material for this construction of this watch box, I'm going to tap on it so you can hear just how solid this plastic hard case is. And if I were to press down on the lid using my thumbs, you can see there's barely any flex at all and I'm applying quite a large amount of pressure, squeezing and pressing on the lid. And even on the fins, let's squeeze them together. You can see there's a little bit of flex right there, but the main body itself is rather solid. So giving you another aspect of this Invicta watch box. And now let's open up the watch box by flipping up the latches on the side. So give you that close up look. And the latch does have an Invicta branding as well. Let's lift the latch and unhook it. I'm giving you that close-up detail of the latch design. 
and let's undo the other side as well. And so giving you a full view with the two latches undone. Let's lift up the box lid to reveal the contents inside or the interior of the watch box. So giving you that full clear view of this Invicta watch box. So let's remove the packaging or card insert. I'm just setting that aside. And there are two packets of silica gel or desiccant to keep the insides dry. So of course, you want to keep that away from babies, children and animals. And giving you that look on the underside of the lid as well as in the main compartment. And as you can see, the lid is staying securely or firmly in place. And just showing you the opening angles. And it does manage to stay and hold its position. So the interior is lined with foam and you can see it's foam on the underside of the lid. And I'm pinching and pulling on it. And it appears to be stuck or applied to the underside of the lid. And you can see a different type of foam in the main compartment. And there is a watch holder or pillow as well. So let's lift that pillow out. And give you that close up look of the watch pillow and squeezing on it as well. To give you an idea of the hardness, density or firmness of this foam. So just going to set the watch holder down on the right and continuing to take a look inside this compartment. And with this foam, we can lift up the foam from the main compartment. Of course, giving you that look inside the compartment well of this Invicta watch box. And now taking a look at the removable foam insert from the main compartment. And as you can see, nice and dense and shock absorbing as well. It does have those properties. Okay, so replacing the foam insert back into the well or main compartment of the watch box. Let's now try fitting a watch onto the watch holder, as you can see right here. Also made from foam and put together, having several layers of foam combined. So over here, I have a Royal Oak Offshore, an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore. It does have a 42 millimeter case size. And let's fit the watch onto the watch holder or pillow. and fastening the watch tightly on the watch holder and giving you that look in terms of the fitment and sizing with the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore. Strapped onto the watch holder. Okay, so let's now 
drop the watch with its holder into the watch box to give you that view in terms of the sizing and fitment. of this 42mm case size watch in the Invicta watch box main compartment. And taking a look at the overall aspects in terms of the fitment. And you can see it does stay rather securely in place. And now I'm closing the lid down and clipping the latches down. So very simply, very effortless securing of the latches on the sides of the watch box. And you can hear just how solid that plastic is for the body and casing of this watch box. And let's reopen the watch box by, of course, flipping up the latches. And giving you a look at the watch still sitting securely in position. And then replacing the foam watch holder back into the watch box compartment. And as you can see, everything is nicely fitted and put together. Let's put, close the lid down and lock the watch box back together. And there are holes in the lid that line up with the body should you wish to add a padlock or padlocks for added security to the watch box. So that's the Invicta watch box. Thanks for watching and happy storing.